It's book Tubathon TBR time. So yes, it's that time of year where everybody is doing their TBRs for the annual book Tubathon. And this is hosted by Ariel Bissett. And I will link her channel and um, the information about book Tubathon below. Okay, so challenge number one is to let your first read be decided by a coin toss. And I already forgot to get a coin. Okay, coin acquired. For this, I'm going to be choosing between Wolf in White Van by John Darnell and Born by Jeff Vandermeer. So let's go with Tails for Wolf and Heads for Born. Oh God. <laughs> Has anyone not dropped the coin flip yet? <laughs> Anyway, is Heads, so we're going to be reading Born by Jeff Vandermeer. I am part way through his Annihilation series, and I've liked that for the most part so far, so hopefully this will be good. Challenge number two, read a book about something you want to do. I had to think about this for a little while, but I ended up going with traveling around Europe. That's something I've always wanted to do, but I have not been able to yet. One day, we'll get there. And for this, because I've heard about it recently, I'm going to use The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee because it follows like a young lord who is doing his grand tour of Europe. But it has bisexual representation for the main character. And then I've heard it's pretty funny too, so that should be a nice, light little something to throw in. Challenge three, read and watch a book and movie adaptation. There's quite a lot of choices for this, so I just kind of browsed through what had been done in the last year or two, and I found one, My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. I chose this because I read Rebecca a few years back, and I surprisingly loved it, which I was not expecting to before I read it. So I'm hoping other work by this author would be great, and I know the movie has Rachel Wise in it, who I really like, so it should be good. And I thought it'd be nice to switch it up and choose something outside of a different genre than I normally read, and it's also more in the classics category. Challenge four, read a book with green on the cover. My choice for this is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which has been getting quite a lot of buzz lately, and it seems like something I would really enjoy. So I'm just gonna have to do it. Number five, read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. <laughs> I don't own a whole lot of hats, but I do own a hat, so I guess we'll find out what that'll be. But I guess it's just gonna, so it's be silly and fun, and we'll see. <laughs> the book I'm pairing with this is Every Heart a Doorway by Shawna McGuire. I've read quite a lot of things by her and under her other pen name, Myra Grant, and I've always enjoyed her writing. And while I have the first two in this series on my Kindle, I have not gotten around to them yet, but I need to, so thought I'd throw it in this challenge. <laughs> And right on to challenge number six. Read a book with a beautiful spine. I'm choosing one of my recent editions, which is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I've been wanting to get to it anyway, and it's got a gorgeous spine. It's like this very fairy tale cover. I'll put in a picture. I'm just too lazy to go get it, honestly. <laughs> but the cover's nice, the spine's nice. It's perfect for this challenge. And finally, number seven, which is just read seven books. And for this, while I know this is a TBR, I'm actually not going to make a choice yet. I am a really big mood reader. And since I've already got quite a list going, I want to give myself the best opportunity for success in this by not choosing a book, by leaving it open. So that once, if I get to a point where I'm just like stalled out on anything or don't feel like reading something, that I have a slot to do that with. I've got a couple choices I think I might go with, but I wanted it to be the most honest for me. And TBR is already hard for me to follow, so giving myself an out per se, I think will help me actually accomplish all the books that I want to read. So I know that was pretty quick. I didn't want to go into a huge amount of detail with the books are about or anything because we're going to be doing a reading vlog and I figured I'd do that then. Let me know if you've got any of these on your list or what book on your TBR for Booktubeathon you're most looking forward to. All right, that's it for me today. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.